So as part of standard transformations, let us look into string manipulation using Scala. It is more of reviewing Scala concepts, which are very important while dealing with the Spark APS, uh, Spark transformations uh, going forward. So let us review about string manipulation. Okay, so first let me connect to the lab and uh, make sure I create this RDD. Okay, now the RDD is created. And if you look at the data type of this RDD, or the variable called orders, it is of type RDD, which is nothing but a distributed collection, and each element in this is nothing but a string. And if you look at the output of orders dot first, you can see the data type of it is string, and you can see the data. And uh, as we have seen earlier, orders have four fields, order ID, order date, order customer ID and order status. And as part of this data set, um, each, uh, each line uh, in the file is nothing but orders record and uh, each field is delimited by comma. So the number one here is nothing but uh, order ID. This one is nothing but date. I'm sorry, this, this is nothing but date. This 11,599 is nothing but order customer ID. And this is nothing but order status. So we will see this kind of data everywhere. And we should know how to process this data. Unless we have exposure to all these string functions, we will not be able to process it uh, gracefully. So let me create a variable here, val s equal to or str equal to orders dot first. Now str is of type string and this is the data we have or this is the string we have. And if you say str dot and hit tab, these are the APS which are available. You should have a glance of everything and depending upon our requirement, you should use whatever you should. One of the very frequently used API is split, okay? So you can type split here and hit tab. Hit tab twice and you can see split takes one argument, which is nothing but delimiter. So in our case, the delimiter is of type comma. So based upon whatever string you have passed as delimiter, the data will be delimited by that if that is present in the data. And the output is nothing but array of strings. So each element, uh, which is separated by delimiter is now part of this array and the data type will be of type string. You can see it here. If I say str dot split off uh, comma, it actually created array and array have four elements. So let me create a variable called a and pass this. Now a is of type array of string. Okay, and it has four elements. Now you should know how to access elements in array. You just use subscript. You have to use circular brackets in Scala. A of zero will give order ID. A of one will give order dates. A of two will give order customer ID. And A of three will give order status. If you go beyond that, it will say array out of bound exception. For example, A of four. It says array out of bound exception. Okay, now A is of type array and we have this data and each element is of type string. If you look at this, both order ID, which is one and order customer ID, which is 11,599 are of type integers. If you go through the data, they are integers. Okay, when we are actually processing data using Spark APS later, whenever you extract the information which is originally integers, because we use text file and with the data from files, it inherited the data type of string uh, for the record. And as we have used the split on a string, the array which is created is of type string. Each element is of type string. But if we have to use this information for further processing, for example, if I want to add these numbers from multiple records, or if I have to sort the data, we have to convert this into its original format okay and the way you can do it is 
let's say i create val order id equal to a of 0 now order id will be string if i want to typecast to integer because order id is of type integer i can use a two function called to int so uh, any cast function starts with a two and then you can use int float double string etc to convert data into its original format so for int it will be two int for float it will be two float for double it will be two double for string it will be two string like that okay so this is how you can actually typecast now again if i say str dot and hit tab you can see other important variables for example contains so let's say i want to check if order date contains 2013 okay i can say a of 1 which will return the order date and then dot contains okay and let's say i want to search for 2017 if it contains 2017 it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so it's 2013 it returns true okay so if you want to check for a string within within a string then you have to use contents and another function which is very important is substring okay substring is a bit confusing so let's say val order date equal to a of one order date we got the date let's say i want to extract only the date portion of it okay so starting from this one i want to extract till here zero is this one and then uh, this is four characters this is five six seven eight nine ten okay so 10th character is 5 if you actually start with 0 at 2 9 will be 5 right so if i want to get only up to 2013 july 25th the way i have to do it is order date dot substring okay and if you look at the syntax either you take one argument or two arguments so if it is one argument whatever number we give from there it will print till the end if you pass two arguments the first two argument is the beginning index and the second argument is um, the length up to which you want to print the data so second one is length up to which you want to print the data the first argument is beginning index so in this case i want to start with first character which uh, which is zero uh, by index and then i have to print till 10th character 10 is length here index is 9 but length is 10 so here we have to use length not index then it will print the date uh, extracting uh, 2013 from this okay now if i want to extract only month part of it okay so the beginning index should be 0 1 2 3 4 hyphen 5 this 0 so i have to give 5 and then i have to print till 7 which is seventh character so the length for that is 7 so i have to give 5 comma 7 to print this portion of it now if i want to print only this one so I just have to pass the beginning index because I want to print till the end. Okay, so the beginning index will be, this is 10, this is 11, this is 12. So hence we have to use 11 because the index starts with zero. So if I say order date dot substring 11, it will print the timestamp. Okay, so this is how you can use substring, which is very, very important function to remember. And then replace if you want to replace um, a, a, a string with a substring with some other string. Okay, for example, let's say I want to replace this 07 to July. What I can do is order date dot 
replace we can see the syntax it takes two character sequences or two characters you can either replace uh, in uh, one character with another character or one character sequence with another character sequence okay so here if you want to replace uh, hyphen with slash i can say hi and there are individual characters so i can actually say hyphen and then slash to replace and you can see hyphen is replaced with slash similarly if you want to replace a character sequence which is nothing but string let's say i want to replace 07 with july i can do like this now you can see it is printed as 2013 july 25th okay so that is relevance of replace and then what other functions index of index of will give the um, index of a particular number for example if i say index of let's see how many different types of indexes we have uh, index of functions we have it only take integers so let's say in this case i want to sorry either you can pass integers or you can pass the string to find the index okay so in this case i am passing the to the index uh, the first occurrence of 2 is 0 if you want to find the second occurrence on top of the character or string uh, to which uh, for which you want to find the index you can also pass the occurrence if i say comma 2 it will give this second occurrence of this uh, string 2 okay i am not familiar with uh, index of of integer let's say what it will say okay uh, if if it is integer uh, i think it will give some value i don't know i don't know about index of of integer but index of of string we will use quite frequently similarly if you want to find the length of this field you can say order date dot length and it will give the length of the field and if you want to check for the emptiness you can use is empty if you want to convert the case to lower case or to upper case can be used okay you can also use concat to concatenate two strings the way you instead of plus you can also use concat okay so like this you can use whatever function you want and uh, i would highly recommend you to uh, go through this list of functions and be familiar with as many as possible so that you can use appropriate functions depending upon the problem statement you face at the time of certification it is very very important to understand all these functions and the most frequently used function that we will be used will be the split function and split actually convert a string uh, with a delimiter into an array it's a very very important function which you need to uh, understand and also you will be using quite extensively as we move forward